Hello, friends from the manga world. My name is Hector Torres. And my name is G. Lee. Sorry, I, I did the last <laughs> last name this time, G. Usually yeah. we don't, so it threw yeah. us off a little bit. But uh, it's good that you guys know our last names. Uh -huh. uh, so we are here to talk to you about the manga new releases that are coming from Penguin Random House during the month of September. Um, G and I work for Penguin Random House. And uh, so we're going to talk about mangas that are part of the, our uh, distribution and, and publishing programs. OK, so let's get started. And first off, G and I picked some uh, titles that we want to highlight, and then we'll get into uh, the rest of the list. So uh, the first one is one of my picks. It's number six, the manga Omnibus One, which covers volume one to three. Uh, the story for this is by Atsuko Asano, art by Hinoki Kino. Uh, this is from Kodansha. It comes out September in September, obviously, and it's twenty four ninety nine because it's a very thick 480 pages omnibus. Uh, now, this is a very cool story. Uh, uh, it is, it's an older story that has been around already. It was published, well, not, not really, really old, but it was published back at the beginning of the 2000s, I believe, as a light novel. Then it went into manga. Um, and there was a, obviously, as you can tell, there was volumes of manga, and now we're reprinting in omnibus format. Kadansha is reprinting, and there was uh, also a um, an anime for this. Um, that it's sorry, there will be an anime for this. Sorry, and um, it is a story of a you know dystopian world, and the main character, who's the first one that you see up front, he it lives in this world that is almost perfect and everybody it's like technologically um very advanced everything is clean no crime no no poverty but then all of a sudden during the typhoon he bumps into this other character that you see in the back and uh he helps this character but then realize that it's he's been um he's been uh persecuted uh, it's uh, by the police, and that's how he starts to learn from this character that there's a secret side to this world that is not all perfect. It's not all clean, and 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 there's there's actually uh, part of the population that they never see that has been hidden away that have a lot of issues and problems, and uh, there's a lot of prejudice against them. So it's a very cool story. Uh, like I said, Atsuku Asano is a very big uh, writer who's done a lot of work that has won awards that have been adapted to anime, even a couple of them to live action. So uh, this is one that I highly recommend. Next up. Next up is one of my picks. It's yeah. Crossplay Love, Otaku Punk Volume 1 by Toru. And this is uh, coming out of Seven Seas. And it's about a character, Shume, who is too shy and embarrassed to talk to his crush, Hana. And he feels more comfortable approaching her when he puts on girls' clothes and transforms into uh, Mei. He doesn't realize that his crush, Hana, is actually an otaku boy who is more comfortable with also dressing as a girl. And so this is like a really fun, romantic, like cross-dressing comedy. And it's very much like an opposite attracts type of story. And I love this because I love stories with delinquents. Yeah. So you have like <laughs> one who is a delinquent and one who's an otaku or a nerd. And like, <laughs> and it's like they're they're opposite personalities, but also like I guess they kind of are they could relate to each other because they both feel more comfortable dressing as yeah. um, a girl. So yes, this is a lot of fun, and I do want to show you some interior images because it's great. <laughs> it just again, I love the expressions. Yeah. That's that's one of my uh, requirements. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> for manga has to have great expressions. Um, so um, highly recommend checking this out. Yeah, there's also other requirements of yours is a lot of uh, quirky things. And on the cover, I noticed there was like a little bear tag. And now I see it. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then in the next one, there's a bear uh, backpack. So I'm guessing that character loves bears or at least that bear character. I should have it mentioned seems like it's that. The same. Yeah, I should have mentioned that when they do dress up and they actually meet each other at a maid cafe so like it makes sense with the cookies yeah. and yeah <laughs> in context that makes in sense. a little bit of context yeah all right <laughs> cool next up is one of my picks and before i start talking about this i do want to say that I, I i made my picks and then i realized i picked two that are very similar so the next one's going to be very similar but uh and they're both uh kind of well known so this one is by the grace of the gods uh, volume five for the manga. Uh, this is story by Roy, art by Ramron, Ran, and characters designed by Ririnra. Uh, set in this uh, by Square Enix, and it's at twelve ninety nine. This is an, uh, another it's guy, um, you know, going to a different world type of manga, which I love. I mean, it's my favorite uh, genre, but this one's. Um, it's a little bit different in that the character, it's a it's a middle aged uh, guy who dies, and then these three gods ask him, um, you know, we want to send you back, but we want to send you to a different world, and we have a mission for you. We want you to help us out with with certain mission, and um, so and to do that mission, you have to go as a little boy. So they send him as a little boy to this other world and he's, you know, part of his mission is kind of blend into the world and all that. And you see all these uh, slimes all over the place. So and usually in games, <laughs> especially Japanese games like this, where you go to a different world, you the, the slimes are usually you you kind of catch him and get a lot of power. So he just, he starts doing what he does in games and he sees that he could do certain things and get more power outside of the mission that the gods sent him so he starts doing his own thing and the gods are not too happy with him but he keeps doing it so i it's it's a very quirky funny uh you know that kind of if, for people who love isekai uh it's perfect it's right up their alley but it's also uh it has that kind of a twist sort of like i'm going against what the god's doing but you know and they're kind of ticked off by it so i like i think it's going to be really fun so i definitely recommend this one mm -hmm. next up of course this is a must this is a night of the living cat volume one by hawkman and this is coming out of seven seas and this is so funny because it's a parody that takes itself seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Which is and amazing. It's amazing. So basically there's this virus and this virus turns humans into furry beasts and that furry beast ha happen to be specifically cats. Yeah. And so there's like, uh, like I guess surviving <laughs> humans who like are still human and trying to protect their form <laughs> as being a human. Yeah. So like there's this one character who doesn't have any memories of his past, but one thing he does know that he has is knowledge of cats. And so like he has to like he has to stay strong and not touch the cat or like not pet the cat or like cuddle with the cat because he would turn into a cat. So, so he's trying yeah. to sort of like stay away and protect his fellow humans from transitioning into a cat. This is um, very fun uh, post-apocalyptic story. This is like a mix of like horror comedy, which kind of reminds me of like, if we look at the interior art, um, uh, of course, the way that it looks, it looks very horrifying in terms of like <laughs> the horde of cats 
it's like a play on the zombie movie, right? When you have like yeah, a horde of cats. Yeah, coming. Day of the Night of the Living Dead and the whole series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And this reminds me of Junji Ito's uh, Cat Diary for yeah. obvious reasons, like yes. very much to art, the horror aspect to it. But like, which I'm sure humor. it was a, it, it was inspiration for this too. Mm-hmm, obviously, mm-hmm. it's such a big thing. But the art is very beautiful. I love yep. the outrageousness that this is. the The cover image is very like it it stands out on shelves for sure. And I love the the tagline. All you all be be cats or something. Can you go back to the cover for a second? Because I love that tagline. You will all be cats. <laughs> <laughs> and I love that it's like black dripping, sort of like blood, but it's it's black and orange, so it's like not really blood it's very inoffensive but it's it's to imitate you know like a blood spot like it would be on a on a real zombie <laughs> kind of cover <laughs> so it's awesome i like this image where like the cats are nuzzling like the yep. wrist which is like very <laughs> threatening because like that's where you're like <laughs> Your pulse is, <laughs> and then yeah. they're just like nuzzling it. I don't know. It's it's like both creepy, but also very comedic. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. And then next pick is mine. It's uh, two and one because it's the same series, but we have a uh, Mushoku Tensei Jobless Reincarnation, Reincarnation, and we have the volume fifteen of the manga and the volume eighteen of the light novel. They're both coming out on September. Uh, the manga is twelve ninety nine. The uh, light novels thirteen ninety nine. They're both from Seven Seas. Now this is a big manga and a big anime. The anime, the first season won awards last year. Uh, the anime awards. It was like one of the top animes for the year. Um, it's, ve- it's very popular, um, and it's uh, the second season is coming right up. So. Uh, you know, if I, I think it's perfect timing to to catch up with it. And really quickly, I mean, the topic of this one, like I said before, is very similar to the previous one uh, that I presented. It's uh, it's also an isekai, and it's also an older man, a middle-aged man. This one, he he dies accidentally, and is sent. Uh, but before he dies, he was disowned by his family because he was, a, you know, kind of a lazy bad person uh not evil evil but not great and it was really a, you know especially lazy and kind of living out of his fam- uh of his family so he uh he dies and he's reborn in a new world and he's reborn as a baby and it's this a new world obviously with magic and all this and he's born into a family of a warrior and a and a previous uh uh witch so it's very interesting to see his stories. He's growing up, but you see, you list, you can hear his internal thoughts because he's conscious from his previous life. So he's like, he does things knowing, like uh, having a full uh, knowledge, adult of adult knowledge, I guess. Uh, but then you start seeing how he's trying to kind of trying to like i said it's a character who's lazy so he's trying to like get away with not doing much but then he starts to learn from his parents and people around him and the world and he becomes a really good person at the point on these new volumes uh, you know it's very advanced and the story is very complete it's, it's a bigger world that you see but it's fun to read it from the beginning so i highly highly recommend this one like i said it's a very big one this is one that if you put on your shelves, uh, fans of manga definitely recognize right away. Mm-hmm. Next up is one of my picks, uh, another one of my picks, Love is an Illusion Volume 1 by Fargo, um, coming out of Seven Seas. So this one I had to put as, like, this needs attention because of how insanely popular this is on um, as a webcomic. And um, basically, just just to put it out there, this is for mature audiences and this will be shrink wrapped um, because of that. It's a Korean manhwa and uh, it actually feeds into, I can't believe I'm talking about this on, on uh, recording, um, but I have to because yeah, like it's, to. it's part of it, right? Yeah. But it's, it's there, there, there's a fanfic community and there's a sub genre called um, Omegaverse which it's basically like speculative erotica basically is is where I'm getting at with this. 
Um, so it feeds into that, but that type of sub, sub drama is very like popular um, in the fanfic community and this kind of feeds into that. So we have this like webtoon now available or going to be available in September in a physical format in English uh, for you all to check out. And so it's a story about this uh, character who um, as you'll see with the orange hair that looks very cute, uh, <laughs> who always lived his life thinking that he is, um, uh, what do we call that? He's like the dominant um, uh, alpha. There we go. That he's he's the alpha. He, he just always thought that he was one. And then he encounters this other character, as you'll see with the with the black hair, who is like the true alpha. And he's like, oh my gosh, this like changes my perspective on things. And it turns out that he's an omega, um, which again, it feeds into that subgenre of, of um, uh, that subgenre that you have here. So it's a, it's just basically this romantic comedy between these two. And again, this is like all over TikTok. I see everyone talk about this all the time. Yeah. And so I can imagine that this this will garner attention to those fans um, for sure because it like this yeah. has gone viral. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Oh, and yes, interior yeah, images. you have interior images. There you go. <laughs> As you'll see, uh, both of them uh, meet. Yeah. Very cool. OK. And I'm first, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so now we're going to talk about uh, the volume ones that are coming out in September. Uh, we have first have uh, Seven Time Loop. The villainous enjoys a career carefree life married to her worst enemy. Manga Volume One, and from Seven Seas is a reincarnation drama. Gets sent into overdrive in this tale full of romance and scheming, and don't miss out uh, the original light novels also from Seven Seas. I forgot to mention this is by Toko Amakawa and illustrated by Hinoki Kino. And next we have Anti Romance Special Edition Volume One by Shoko Hidaka and also from seven seas and an engrossing tale of friends to lovers unfolds in this boys love manga by the creator of blue morning so and then next we have as a reincarnated aristocrat i'll use my appraisal skills to rise in world uh number one manga story by mirajin a and illustrated by natsumi inoue and jimmy and just Jimmy. Uh, this is from Kadansha. It's brains over brawn in this new isekai adventure. Uh, one day when leaving work, a salaryman dies and is reborn in another world as the weak child of a novel Lovent family. Using his appraisal skill, he uh, which lets him see the stats of others, uh, young R's Lovet recruits the best people on his side in order to turn his country around. Uh, and then uh, last one on the slide is Cats and Sugar Bowls. And I love that cover. And it's Great. very it goes it goes very well with the with the title. <laughs> uh, Yukiko uh, is the creator for this one. And it's by Seven Seas. And it's a beautiful collection of sweet and prov provocative jewelry romances. Mm -hmm. Next. And continuing on with volume one, we have Free Life Fantasy Online Immortal Princess. This is the manga version, volume one. So this is actually um, the the original was the life light, light novels that came out of Seven Seas. And so um, basically ghoulish adventure in a fantasy gaming tale. Um, definitely want to pick that up if you are um, fans of the light novel. Definitely recommend picking up them both. And then next up, we do have Lazy Dungeon Master Volume 1 uh, manga, and this is a fantasy isekai tale about one slacker who gets a rude awakening when he becomes the guardian of a dungeon. And then we have Monotone Blue, um, and this is from a critically acclaimed creator, and I really like this creator, uh, Nagavi, who did work on The Girl from the Other Side. Very good uh, uh, yep. manga, also from Seven Seas. And The Wise, Wise Beast of the Wizarding uh, Wisdoms, um, which is another work by this creator. And this is a boys love tale about animal boys falling in love 
it's very beautifully like you you know with this creator that uh the art is going to be extremely beautiful when you look at it so and next uh continuing with volume once we have my happy marriage one the manga this is by akumi agitogi and rito kosaka and to sorry sukiho sukioka I was doing so well with the names. Uh, this by Square Enix. It is a, a Cinderella-inspired slow burn historical romance with a paranormal twist set in Taisho era Japan. A brown beaten and misread, uh, mistreated daughter is cast out of her home and set to audition as a bridal candidate for the heir to one of the most powerful families, powerful families in the land. Next is Norogami Omnibus 1, which includes Volume 1 to 3, uh, Norogami Straight God, I should say. It's the full title. And uh, Ada Chiotoka is the author of this, creator of this. Uh, and this is a, a well-known um, manga and, and a very successful anime. And now you'll be able to have a very beautiful omnibus from it. Next up is Shonen Note, Boy Soprano number 1 by... Yuki Kamatani from Kodansha Comics, a point and coming of age series that's moving and musical from the creator of Our Dreams at Dusk, Shimanaki Sogare. Um, Yukata is a boy treasured by his choir for his beautiful soprano voice, but what will he do when the interval arrives and his voice starts to deepen? Perfect for fans of Kageki Shoho, Shoujo, uh, keep your hands of Ezukane, Blue Period, and Boys Runs the Riot, which are all part of three of my favorites. <laughs> oh, they're great. They're great yeah. titles. Okay. And then continuing on with Volume 1, we have The Summer You Were There, Volume 1 by Yuama. And this is a sweet uh, Yuri love story by the creator of The Girl I Want is So Handsome, um, which also from Seven Seas. This is two high school girls, one a shy writer and the other a social butterfly, uh, try to live out a romance novel, which the cover is perfect for this with all like the, the notebook paper flying, the pages, the loose leaves flying everywhere with the butterflies. I think that's great. Um, and then uh, following that is Though I Am an Inept Villainous, Tale of the Butterfly Rat Body Swap in the Maiden Court. What a name <laughs> with that title. This is a light novel, volume one. And uh, this is by Satsuki Nakamura. And uh, for this one has court intrigue. We have a tale of maidens competing for the crown. And you don't want to miss out on this manga adaptation from Seven Seas. And then we also have the case files of Jeweler Richard Light Novel Volume 1. This is um, an acclaimed mystery tale about a young team our young man teaming up with a handsome jewelry appraiser inspired by the popular anime and a manga adaptation, which on the next slide, you'll see that um, for additional new manga releases, um, we do also have the volume three manga version. The previous was the light novel uh, that is also coming out in September. Uh, we also have Accomplishments of the Duke's Daughter light novel volume six, the Apothecary Diaries volume uh, six manga, the Attack on Titan, the final season part two manga box set. That isn't the final image, um, but just wanted to let you know that um, that is coming out in September. Uh, Beauty and the Feast volume four, Berserk of Gluttony light novel volume seven, Blue Period volume nine, Cat Massage Therapy volume three, Classroom of the Elite Year 2, Light Novel, um, Volume 2, and Desire Pandora, Volume 3. Um, and before we continue, I do want to mention for Classroom of the Elite, which you mentioned on the previous slide, that we yep. currently, we recently acquired more world right more rights around the world so now we have world rights which we didn't have before so if you couldn't order it before try it now because you will be able to and then continuing on other new manga coming out in september without the hero life of a self-proclaimed mediocre demon six then we have high score girl nine still still going strong on netflix i highly recommend it the i did then deities 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 Deities. Known only, <laughs> no only piece, volume three. Uh, I'm in love with the villainous light novel, volume five. 
Island in Apollo 4. Then we have on the bottom uh, row, Kiruru Kill Me Volume 3. Then we have Monster Girl Doctor Light Novel Volume 9 and Orient 10 and Peach Boy Riverside 8 and Real Account 18 to 20. And continuing on, we have Rent a Girlfriend Volume 14. And in addition to that, we also have the Rent a Girlfriend Manga Box Set 1. Sensei's A Pious Lie, uh, Volume 4, The Seven Deadly Sins, Four Nights of the Apocalypse, Volume 5. She Professed Herself Pupil of the Wise Man Manga, Volume 6. A Silent Voice Complete Collector's Edition, Volume uh, 2. The first volume is beautiful. If you ever get to see it in person, it's, it's, it's stunning to look at. Um, Skeleton Knight in Another World Manga, Volume 9. Soul Eater, the Perfect Edition, Volume 8. That time I got reincarnated, reincarnated as a slime, Volume 20. And then also the, the time I got reincarnated as a slime, Trinity in Tempest, vol, um, Volume 6 manga. Great. And to finish up the new manga releases in September, we have The Strange Adventure of a Broken Mercenary, Light Novel, Volume 5. Then we have This is Screwed Up, But I Was Reincarnated as a Girl in Another World, Manga, Volume 3. And also Vampire Hunter, D, uh, Hunter D, Von Omnibus, Book 2. And then we have one of our favorites too, When Will Ayumu Make His Move, mm -hmm. Number 7. And finally, Young Ladies Don't Play Fighting Games, Volume 3. Yes. And that's it for uh the manga coming for september we do want to remind you that some of the rights uh for some of these books uh might might be restricted in some countries so if you have any questions please contact your sales reps immediately thank you so much for watching this as always we're going to keep uh doing this every month and we invite you to, you know, let us know how you feel. Comment on anything that you you like and what else you would like to see. So that's it for, for today. Thank you. Bye. Everyone.